In less than a year now, three of the most powerful men at CBS, Charlie Rose, Leslie Moonves, and now Jeff Fager, all accused of sexual misconduct, have either been fired or resigned. Jeff Fager, the executive producer of the oldest and most successful news magazine program in history, 60 Minutes, was fired this afternoon by CBS News. In its more than 50 years on air, only two people have led that broadcast. Fager succeeded the show's creator, Don Hewitt, in 2004. Fager also recently served as the chairman of the CBS News division. When we cover a story and report it on Sunday night, and it has impact on Monday morning, that's what you hope for. Fager hired Charlie Rose for multiple roles at the network. In November, Rose was terminated. This July, six female former CBS News employees told The New Yorker, Fager would touch employees in ways that made them uncomfortable after drinking at office parties. 19 current and former employees told The New Yorker Fager allowed harassment in the division. Fager vehemently denied all of those claims. Fager continued to come to work. On Sunday, The New Yorker reported a new accuser said she felt compelled to speak because she simply can't believe Fager's back there. The article described her as a producer who was an intern at CBS in the early 2000s who said that he groped her at a work party. In response to that allegation, Fager told CBS News, this is an outrageous claim and it didn't happen. It is wrong. Way, sir. Fager's departure comes days after CBS chairman and CEO Leslie Moonves resigned following allegations of sexual assault and harassment. CBS News President David Rhodes today briefed the 60 Minute staff. Can't talk to you guys about uh, about this today. In a statement, Rhodes said Fager's dismissal was not directly related to the allegations surfaced in press reports, which continued to be investigated independently. However, he violated company policy, and it is our commitment to uphold those policies at every level. Fager said in his own statement that CBS terminated my contract early because I sent a text message to one of our own CBS reporters demanding that she be fair in covering the story. My language was harsh. CBS did not like it. That reporter was CBS correspondent Jerika Duncan, who said today she wanted to be transparent about it. Sunday evening, I reached out to Fager for comment on the articles alleging he groped or touched CBS employees at company parties. In addition to denying these charges, Fager in a text said to me, quote, if you repeat these false accusations without any of your own reporting to back them up, you will be held responsible for harming me. He went on to say, be careful. There are people who lost their jobs trying to harm me. And if you pass on these damaging claims without your own reporting to back them up, that will become a serious problem. 60 Minutes will enter its 51st season under the leadership of executive editor Bill Owens while the search for a new executive producer begins. KCAL 9 is owned by CBS.